want to betray us. The media wants to betray us. We are the media. We want the truth. We want fairness. And we're here to talk about truth and fairness. We have answers. We have solutions. We're not going to let the media go shove a microphone in somebody that's the, the dumbest person in the movement, some shield, and tell us, oh, blah, blah, and dump, dummy us down. Not this time. Not this time. We are the media. We are the media. We have. More eyes are on us than CNN or Credibility or, not, or Fox ever dreamed to be. We are the credible media. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen, you guys. We have 157 countries on our eyes on us. Millions of people are listening to us. We have people speaking from all kinds of disciplines. I'm speaking on the cover-up of Fukushima. Bloomgate, the Pacific Genocide. We have people talking about the GMOs. We have people talking about economics. We have the incarceration. What about the aliens? No aliens. <laughs> I see a couple though. We have the incarceration of people for just being journalists. We have Megan Rice, an 87 year old nun, a peaceful activist, being given life in prison. A 83 year old nun from this city. When we have these oligarchs and these criminals who have committed these crimes, not only walk free, they are giving more money. Hamilton, the first Treasury Secretary, as we walked by the Treasury, he paid himself zero. Zero. Paulson robs the Treasury for $400 billion, thrashes the United States dollar. We've had our money taken away. Our currency's crashed. They've sent our jobs to slaves in China. They call themselves American Cup. GM, Steve Chinese Jobs, Apple, Caterpillar. There's nothing American about them. They don't employ anybody. They surely don't pay any taxes here. They exploited everything. But now they've taken the crowny jewel. They've taken our air. Fukushima has been pouring into the Pacific Ocean for 970 days. It's the greatest cover up in history. The oligarchs have gone too far this time. The Uncle Tom media has gone too far this time. They're eating their own now. We gotta call this out to accountability. We have solutions, we have answers. We're not, no more, the tale has been told. We know the tale. The tale is that now it's time for solutions. We want the real criminals in jail. We want the patriots, the modern day Sam Adams, who are in jail set free. We want the truth. We want the truth. We're tired of the lies. We're tired of the crony capitalism. We're tired of the exploitation of our jobs. We don't want to compete with slave owners in China that pay their slaves nothing, nothing. We want fairness. So we have a group of speakers. John is here who organized this. And thank you to everyone who is here, everyone that has showed up. You guys are amazing people. I love every single one of you. You are the people that matter because you get off your ass and you're doers, you're workers. You're the people that care about other people. You love this country. They don't love this country. They have ruined this country. They take this country. Not only do they use the government, they don't, the government is not of the people anymore. It hasn't been of the people for a long time. But they use the government as a weapon against their very own people. It's time to put a stop to it. We're not just a bunch of hot air. Talk, 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 we have answers. You want to talk economics, we have answers. In this usury-based economy, in this fairy tale free market economy, slaves in China, it's been a 40-year experiment. Put our tariffs back, put usury laws back in place, enforce antitrust laws that exist. We have answers. So we're gonna have a group of speakers up here. John's gonna get up here first. He's the guy who knows us. He's, he's working on a little bit right here. Steve. All right, get the show on the road, Steve.